Hello, my name is Rob Evans, and I'm Vermont School Security Liaison Officer for the Agency of Education and Department of Public Safety. This facilitated dialogue is designed to initiate a conversation about how your school would conduct a behavioral threat assessment and to familiarize participants with current school emergency operations plans, policies, and procedures. And please remember the following guidelines throughout the exercise. This is a great opportunity to walk through a scenario together. It's definitely a low stress, no fault environment. There are absolutely no right or wrong answers. And please respond to the questions in this exercise based on current plans, policies, and procedures. I don't know or we don't have that are okay and acceptable answers. Now let's get started with the scenario. The date is February 7th. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and you're in your office having a meeting with some of your administrative staff. At 9.15, a member of your faculty comes to the front office with a notebook that he says came off a desk of one of his students in class. The notebook is filled with hate-filled language, describes some physical altercations with some other students at school, and has drawings of guns and shootings in it. Please discuss the following questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. A short time later, you're informed that the student you have been discussing just got into a fight with a couple of students in the hallway during classes. When other faculty members were breaking up the fight, the student of concern yelled something to the others involved in the fight like you will get yours when you come to school tomorrow. You're dead to me. Please discuss the following questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. A short time later, while working with your staff to develop a plan to address this issue, you're informed that several students have come forward to express their concern for their personal safety. They show you some social media postings from the initial student involved that show photographs of him dressed in camouflage fatigues, holding large knives and a small pistol. Please discuss the following questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. Later that morning, after talking with faculty, staff, the student involved, the parents of the student involved, mental health professionals, and local law enforcement. What disciplinary decisions, if any, would you make for the student involved in making these threats? Please discuss the following questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. For some additional considerations, what additional training has been identified for school staff to attend that would help you respond to a situation like this? And have you used the threat assessment guide available at the Vermont School Safety Center's website? And what equipment or other resources have been identified that would help you manage an incident like this in the future? And when was the last time you coordinated with local emergency responders to discuss your crisis planning procedures? And remember, Familiarize yourself with the standard response protocols, and you can find those at the link attached. Thanks so much for participating in this exercise, and please don't hesitate to give me a call if you have any additional questions or concerns.